we've told you about this woman before. I'm a black, a 100-year-old veteran from Central Florida, got the chance to fly in a Navy helicopter in honor of her late husband, First Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Delbert Black. She has been living one heck of a life, and now she is getting honored once again. I'm a today got another token of appreciation given to veterans to thank them for their service. News 6's Carolina Cardona is here with more. I'm so honored to get this quilt. I can hardly wait to get it up and put it on my bed. Ima Black has just been awarded the Quilt of Valor. Oh, that's be Oh, I love that. The red, white, and blue. The Quilt of Valor Foundation began in 2003 by Catherine Roberts, whose son had been deployed to Iraq. Each quilt is handmade and awarded to a veteran to thank them for their service. Ima was 21 when in 1943 she joined the Navy at a recruiting office in Birmingham, Alabama. It got me out of Alabama and I was able to see the world. I was able to marry the most wonderful Navy chief that ever lived in the Navy. We met Ima in July when she celebrated her 100th birthday with a ride on a Navy Seahawk helicopter. Ima was a member of the Navy Waves Unit, a woman's reserve branch during World War II. She's also the widow of the first Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Delbert D. Black. My only uncle was lost in World War II. He was a B-17 pilot, and so I've always had that strong feeling of, of uh, national need for national service, patriotism, and a love of our country. Melissa Matthews, group leader for the Orlando Quilt of Valor organization, began the local chapter in January 2020. It's not a work of art, but it is a work of heart because every single one of those quilts has little pieces of all of our heart. Since the inception of the Quilts of Valor Foundation, more than 280,000 quilts have been awarded nationwide. Across Osceola, Orange and Seminole counties, more than 120 quilts have been awarded. A token of appreciation that brought back some fond memories for Ima, who says it reminded her of a quilt she started making before joining the Navy. It's that quilt that, that I, I tried to make for myself. And I'll tell you, I'll, this quilt will be used. Uh, it will not be put on a shelf. Excellent. I'm going to put it on my bed. And I'm sure at night I will have sweet dreams sleeping under this beautiful quilt. In Winter Park, Carolina Cardona, News 6.